Hi again, people. Going to uh, do a video on Bob Tamers here. Um, you don't need to see my face. I'll be cracking on my belly. Uh, so, <clears throat> what's a Bob Hammer, and how did it come about? So I pulled out a few revolvers. Got these from my neighbors. I lost all mine in the the boat wreck. But anyway, uh, so a, a traditional. I got this a pawn shop for eighty bucks. What a steal! Thirty eight, recessed uh, cylinders. I mean, it's probably a piece of junk. I haven't shot it yet, but for eighty bucks, I cleaned it up. It's got a little rib barrel. What? 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 Anyway, back to my sound point here. Hammer, single action. Okay, all revolvers. I had all of my guns loaded, so I want to make sure I didn't fire off a bullet. Hey, Jesus Christ! Uh, so, double action, two things happen. You pull the trigger, and it cocks and fires. Hence, double. Two. Two times. Squeeze trigger, hammer comes back, falls. Double action. Single action. You cock the hammer, and one pull of the trigger fires the bullet. Single action. So, most guns have hammers. The problem with hammers is they get caught on everything. You pull them out of a jacket, you try to pull them, they stick out. If they're in a jacket, they tend to protrude, make a point. So, hammers, I mean, if you're carrying them in a holster, maybe they're okay. But for concealed, this is a little big for concealed, these are more my little ones. Uh, so, and again, Old Smith here. Hammer, single action, double action. Single action. You got a hammer, it sticks up, it breaks, if it drops, it hits. Now, uh, this is a nice, I got this one at a pawn shop too. Check that out. Seven shots. Woo, nice. So, uh, how, how hammer, hammers have become, through time, all revolvers used to have hammers. So what the old timers used to do, is they would cut off their hammer. And you notice it doesn't have the little thumb grip. See the difference? One's got a thumb grip, one doesn't. I can't really cock this, there's nothing to grab on it. And, and, and how you do that, it, it's not that hard, you just pull the trigger off and you kinda cut that off and weld it down. Now you can buy these hammerless triggers and they make guns now that are hammerless for that reason, so it doesn't catch on things. And uh, this one I got at a pawn shop. It's a little five shot. Uh, it's an old Smith. Got a pin barrel. Uh, really old five shot. It's got the old. Somebody said this is a tr old Smith. I've never seen this type of a uh, cylinder release um, like that. And somebody said, no, no, that's Smith. That's how they used to come. So I don't know how old this thing is. It doesn't have a model number. It's a fifty. What is it? 5,600 um, serial number. 56,000. So anyway, it had a broken hammer when I bought it. So I got a good deal at a pawn shop because the hammer was broken and snapped and nobody wanted it. And I was like, hell, I, I like making mine bobbed anyway, so I'll just file that down. Take a little file and smooth it around and have me a bobbed hammer there. Now, this one I think is a factory bobbed hammer or somebody bought an aftermarket. If somebody cut this, they did a really nice job. It's very smooth. Different than my job, as you can tell. Uh, try to spin them around here in the light so you can see them. See the difference? All right. So that's called a bobbed hammer. You you bobtail it or, or just cut the... Uh, uh, the bob off, make it bob tamer. So, uh, this one, I think, is a factory also. You can tell, I think it came this way. If somebody cut this one off, they did a really nice job. Um, these almost look like they, they were factory bought. And, um, uh, sure hope this thing is focusing. So you can see these. So, now, I, again, if I can't have, 
Uh, this type, which is an enclosed hammer, there's no way I can cock it. This is kind of what I call the newer Bob style revolver. And I like these. I've got several of these that I didn't, that I, or actually I lost in a boat accident. But these are really great because the, the difference between this and this is if I fire this in my pocket and my jacket gets caught on this as it's coming back, I can have a misfire because it got caught there. And now the gun doesn't work because it didn't fully close. And now I'm stuck in a shooting because it's caught on my jacket. So that's the problem with external ha hammers. So, and then the other problem with external hammers is people go, well, if I want to make a long distance shot, I want to be able to aim and get a nice shot and go to single action so I have a soft trigger. And they say with a bobbed hammer you can't do that. Well, I, I do, I've done it several times, do it all the time. You just have to be familiar with the gun and pull it back far enough to get your finger on it to hook it back. So once you get it coming back, I can grab that and cock it and make it a single action. It's just not as easy, it takes a little time, but if, if I've got time to take a single action shot, this is more of a liability carrying a gun like this or shooting it because the trigger is so soft that if it goes off, you're in big trouble. So, uh, you know, the theory about, oh, if you got a bobbed hammer, you can't lock it, ah, eh, I disagree. You pull it back a little bit about halfway, you put your thumb over it, and you finish cocking it, and you can cock it fine. Uh, so, bobbed hammer, no problem. Obviously, if you have one with a hammer, you don't have to pull it back and finish cocking it. You just cock it straight. Your finger's not on the trigger. A little bit safer for the safety sallies. They get nervous when your finger's on the trigger. So, uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm a fan of the bobbed hammer before... Uh, the internal hammer came out. Internal hammer, I think, are great guns. Again, I'm always trying to get women to do this. There's no safety. You pull it out and you squeeze the trigger. Nothing to think about. If your gun's in your hand, you can pull the trigger. You're in the fight. So I really like these internals. You can shoot it from inside your purse, inside your coat, inside your jacket. If you get banged on something, if a guy grabs this, he's not going to defeat this unless he stops the cylinder from turning is the only way to defeat this gun from firing. If you grab this cylinder here and squeeze this, I can't pull the trigger because it won't rotate the cylinder. But on this one, if a guy grabs it and he gets his fingers in between here, which is a normal grab, you can pull the trigger all day and you're not getting a, a round off. So you, it's very easy to defeat a gun in single action. So anyway, I, I just wanted to uh, show the difference between the different bobs and the different things uh, hopefully you got some out of it. I know it was quick and kind of everybody's going to be complaining about the light and it wasn't close enough and the focus was out. But you know what? Um, I I like no hammers and uh, that's my preference. So we'll end that there.